Episode 7 of A Teacher, Eric tries to move on, but fallout from the affair continues to resurface in unexpected ways. Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with my weekly breakdown, review, and recap of the latest episode of FX on Hulu, A Teacher. We're talking episode 7, which solely focuses on Eric going off to college, trying to run away from his past. And we also hear the news that Claire is only a couple days from being released from county prison. We're going to break it all down in a spoiler discussion, but before we dive into the details, as you can see on the screen now, make sure you all are following me on all my other social media accounts. That way you can stay up to date on what's going on over here at Movie files if you are new to the channel welcome to this community consider subscribing and while you're at it hit that notification bell that way you don't miss my new movie reviews tv reviews live streams all the fun things we do on this channel it would mean a lot to me if you all can share this video and give it a thumbs up it helps out the channel so much but i also really appreciate it and in the comments let's discuss this episode seven what'd you think about the performance by nick robertson what do we think was going to happen next week are we going to get a flashback of claire going to trial going to court you know getting out of prison and leading up to her maybe going back to her husband Matt if Matt is still in the equation or is she going to make her way back to Eric let's discuss everything in the comments below so before I get into my overall thoughts give you this kind of recap here as I've been doing these last few weeks, I can't thank you all enough for the team support. Again, we know how uncomfortable this show is. We know this is a very sensitive subject matter, but it's the conversations in the comments that keep me coming back every single week, breaking this down and talking to you all with this show. So again, thank you for the support and let's continue the conversation down there. So just initial thoughts coming off this episode. It was yet another solid episode. Again, we're seeing these great performance by these two great actors, and this one solely focusing on Nick Robinson as Eric going off to college, trying to run away from his past, trying to suppress his drama, you know, by drinking and smoking and partying and jumping on cars, just really wilding out, trying to, again, escape what happened to him. But we see that the past keeps coming up. You know, Claire keeps being brought up in every single conversation he has from people that he doesn't even know, but they know him. So I thought the performance was really solid and I'm really excited to see what next week's episode is going to look like. Is it going to be just a clear focused episode of her again, going to court, pleading guilty, seeing what it's like in her going to jail. And then the days of leading up to, you know, where we are in the storyline, is Matt going to be waiting for? Are they divorced? Is she going to go right back to Eric because he's in college now? So again, I thought this is a really good uh, episode and things are really kind of shaping up to a, I uh, hope, a good season finale for this show. But again, let's discuss your thoughts in the comments. So starting things off with this recap, it opens up with Eric partying with Cody, which we know Cody is the older brother of his close friend, Logan. And we kind of see, again, Eric just drinking, partying, kind of letting loose, again, trying to you know, maybe wipe away his uh, past as we see within this party scene. We find out within this scene that this is his first week in college. We get some off-screen development. We don't know, you know, number one, he graduated high school. Number two, we don't see Claire getting, you know, going to court. We might get that next week, potentially in a flashback. But, you know, we see that I believe if, if I am to kind of match up this the timeline, I think we're maybe a couple months removed from them kind of going off with each other last week. But again, let me know what you all think the timeline kind of plays into. But we cut to another scene. We see Eric, you know, smoking with his new college buddies and the conversation, of course, shifts to Eric as they put it, banging his teacher. And, you know, we see the guys kind of not necessarily poking fun of him. But again, as Eric has even said himself, oh, I'm the man, I'm a legend. They even bring up, you know, you're a savage because you let her, you know, you banged her a bunch of times and then you just got rid of her and she went to jail. And, you know, Eric is clearly uncomfortable about this conversation, right? You clearly see it. And again, it goes back to the great performance by Nick Robertson. You can he he plays like uncomfortable very well like he doesn't have to say anything it's just all in the eyes as he's looking down on the ground not really giving people eye contact so again I thought the performance was great but we see that he is uncomfortable even his friend Cody who is a partier himself and probably plays into the idea that he hooked up with his teacher but he's like hey lay off of him but then you know we see Eric kind of play into the conversation as they talk about Claire's body parts and even you know they laugh oh you man you're a legend you're a legend again we're seeing him smiling on out in the inside and in outside to say, but we know that there's a lot going on in the inside, which even his mother brings up how important it is for him to talk to someone about his emotions. We kind of see his emotions come out towards the end of this episode, which we'll obviously get down to. But moving forward, we go into the next scene, cut to Eric hooking up with this girl, as it appears that she's in the same age bracket. She's in the you know college with him, and she even mentions that she was in school when he was in school. And the conversation gets brought up again as he's trying to escape Claire and this whole you know history that he has with her. She brings up, oh, I know who you are. When I was in high school, it was a really big deal. And then she brings up the fact that, you know, did 
Did she teach you some things and all this stuff in the bedroom? And again, you think that Eric might just be like, you know, I really don't want to talk about it, but he plays into it. You know, he says, yeah, she taught me a thing or two and taught me this. So again, we're seeing him put it on this charade, put it on this mask, smiling, happy and all this stuff, just pretending to be okay with the situation. But we know deep down that this is really something that shook him to the core. We cut to Cody and Eric having lunch as, of course, the conversation gets brought up about Claire. As we kind of see, uh, we learn where Claire is and we even hear Cody say, oh, is she in a federal prison? Which we see it is corrected by Eric and we find out she's in a county prison. And we hear, you know, Cody's opinion on the situation. Like, man, it's kind of messed up what happened to her, right? You guys were in love. She liked you you liked her ages is a number just kind of getting his point of view and we even hear eric say yeah man that's what i was trying to say in court you know we liked each other but then he actually goes into what we found out last week by him convincing claire to skip town she probably wouldn't even went to jail but by her doing that it kind of probably was looked at as like maybe kidnapping again it'll be really interesting to see if we we get a court scene if we get a flashback and seeing claire getting you know pleading guilty but again it's just really kind of interesting to see again that they're still there there's still something there that eric has he has some type of sympathy for what went down again even though people think that he's a savage and kind of left her high and dry again it'll be really interesting to see once claire is out is he going to immediately run back to her talk about the situation is claire going to be open to him that's going to be really fascinating to see in the weeks ahead as we kind of move forward we see that you know cody tries to lighten the mood by getting him some beers and whatnot and we hear him say you know people should mind their business they shouldn't be worried about it there's bigger things in life to focus on this that and the other and as you know he goes him to go get some beers from him we hear you know eric say you know i really don't try to think about it no more right i try to suppress it i try to forget the past and we know that it's really hard for him to shake off the past especially you know what went down with him is something that you can't just shake off over just you know going off to college and drinking and partying it's going to always stick with you unless you talk to someone about it let that out of you right we hear several times in this episode therapy counseling all this stuff he's keeping all that bottled in and it's eventually going to come out and we kind of see that within this episode so we see eric trying to do his homework we see him kind of googling some things he googles claire and we see him on the screen that you know is, is a bunch of articles talking about the teacher sleeps with the student is prison an appropriate punishment for sleeping with a student and we get the mug shot of claire it says that she you know she pleaded guilty i think we even found out that she made some type of play, a plea deal but you know just reading those articles is prison a good enough punishment for what she did which goes into the conversation that we always have in the comments below but again it'll be really interesting to see once Claire is out of jail, what's life going to look like for Claire in regards to being labeled as a sex offender? Uh, is, again, the big thing, is Matt still there? Is her family going to be there for her? We, we, we've heard of her dad, but are we going to get a scene with her dad and maybe finding out about her past and seeing if there was maybe a history with this type of behavior? So again, it just really gets me excited to see what we learn from Claire because I've been talking about it for weeks. What's Claire's like? What's her upbringing like? How was she raised? I really want to kind of learn the psyche of Claire and really kind of once we focus on Eric in this episode, I really want to get into focusing on Claire. As we kind of push the conversation forward, we see Eric is visiting his mom. Again, the conversation, Claire keeps getting brought up everywhere he goes. Claire, Claire, Claire. We see the conversation take place with his mother as she mentions to him, you know, have you been going to your counseling? Which again, he has to talk to someone about this. Even if he can't talk to someone that relates to him, you got to just just let it out you can't just let something like that sit inside you we see that that clearly upsets uh eric in this moment and you know his mom is just like you know big moment here i just want to let you know that i can i'm going to be here from you to talk to you once she gets out we find out in this scene that claire is only a couple of days of being removed from prison as we see eric doesn't know this he's He's, you know, again, he, Nick Robertson is just a really solid actor. He's just, he kind of shows excitement, but at the same time, he doesn't show excitement to his mom because he's just like, oh, Claire's getting out, but he can't obviously express that because she would clearly be like, stay the hell away from her. So really interesting moment there. Eric goes to go visit the girl that he hooked up with a couple nights ago. In a really interesting moment, we see that she apologizes to uh, Eric about bringing up Claire while they were having sex and brings up the conversation that she had with her therapist. And the therapist mentions that even though, you know, they can have intimate moments without actually having sex and she actually brings up too which is a very interesting topic that we can discuss in the comments that you must have a weird relationship with sex and that he's a survivor so again there's a little bit of a um, you know a double standard in this position. We talk about it in the comments in regards to if the, if, if the shoe was on the, on the foot, if Eric was the teacher and Claire was the student and a man slept with a 17-year-old, then 
what's the perspective, right? What's the perspective? We automatically go to the man being a monster, you know, you know, and the woman's a victim of the situation, but you really don't hear the man in this particular situation. He's a victim of abuse, right? And the grooming and everything that Claire kind of maybe subconsciously did. And, you know, again, this goes to the performance of Kate Mirror, how she's playing this. And we have some type of sympathy based on her performance. But again, Eric is a survivor. And it is, you know, for him to hear those words kind of throws him off. He's like, no, I'm, I'm fine. And we see him again put it on this mask. I'm fine. I'm here just to hook up. And we see that, you know, his, uh, you know, the girl he's trying to hook up with is like, well, I don't want to really have sex. I just want to take things slow. And he's like, well, I'm just trying to get a booty call. Again, he's just trying to suppress this issue, trying to push it under the rug. As we move forward, we see that he goes back to the fraternity house. And he's trying to, again, drink away his problems, party away his problems. As we see in the scene, they're drinking and driving. Eric's on top of the Jeep. He's telling the guy to go faster. We see that they hit a tree. Eric, I'm thinking that he's going to be seriously injured, break his neck, break his leg or something. Uh, but he, you know, he hits the ground. He's all scraped up, bloody. You would think that he maybe is going to have a breakdown, but he's like, yeah, yelling and just like embracing the situation. Again, this guy, there's an issue up there. There's there's an issue that he's trying to uh, suppress, that he's trying to forget, that he's literally hurting himself to try to forget his past. There's a lot going on right now with Eric in his head, and I think this episode really kind of gives you the state of mind that he's really in. He's very vulnerable right now. We see that the next morning, Eric looks in the mirror, uh, and very uh, opposite of him looking in the mirror from a couple of episodes ago, I'm the man, this, that, and the other, he sees the scars, you know, he has the scars internally, but he also has them now, you know, outside, right, he's all banged up, and it's a very different composition, and a, a different state of mind from what we saw Eric a couple of weeks ago, to where he's at now, we see that he is preparing to get initiated to the fraternity, we see that he is clearly still shooken about the news, you know, I think Eric drinking, driving, flying off the roof was him, he just learned that his lover, his first love, I would say, of his life is getting out of prison. And I think that really shook him to the core. And that's why we kind of see him doing these kind of wild behaviors. So we see the initiation takes place. They invite a stripper. We hear, you know, uh, I remember being in high school when that song came out, My Neck, My Back. But we see the stripper, you know, does her thing. Pulls Eric to the center, gives him a lap dance, and she's saying her stuff. You know, I heard that, you know, you're a naughty student. You want more attention. You've been getting D's. You know, saying all this stuff really kind of get into Eric's head. And we see that Eric, again, Nick Robertson plays uncomfortable very well. We see that he's not uncomfortable. He's very uncomfortable with the situation. He tells her to stop. He pushes her off. He runs off. We see Cody chases him, and he's just like, I'm done. I can't do this, man. This is just too much. And I think this is him. It would have been nice to have that moment with Cody, but again, he's just, he runs away. He just wants to run away from it. He has no one to talk to. The, the, the walls are caving in. He just found out that Claire is just a few days out of prison. I mean, his head right now is just all over the place. We wrap up the episode. He meets Mika, I believe the character name was. You know, he's outside of his dorm. They're eating mushrooms. Mika's kind of talking about the world and connection and all this stuff. A very key moment for Eric. As we see, he finally kind of lets it out. He says it for the first time. Very similar to Claire letting out her emotion, letting out her secret to her husband last week when she said, I'm having an affair. It's with my student. Just saying it out loud. We hear Eric say out loud that he misses her, you know, and he misses her so much. And I don't want to speak out of medical terms, but I don't know if this is a sign of Stockholm Syndrome. Let me know your thoughts there. In the end of the episode, again, just overall thoughts. I thought the performance by Nick Robinson was really solid. He carried this episode emotionally. You really get the sense of him uh, really trying to escape, run away from the issues, suppressing his issues. He needs to talk to someone. He needs some counseling. He needs a therapist. He finds out that news from his mom. We saw that, that what that did to him. He just went straight to party mode, got into an accident, tries to shake it off by going to a fraternity party with initiation and seeing that an older woman as the stripper was dancing on him put him back in that mood it's a lot going on right now with Eric so again I'm thinking that it's safe to say that probably next week it would be nice to get a Claire focused episode Claire getting the verdict or you know pleading guilty Claire going to jail what it was like for her in jail does Matt visit her does he give her divorce papers there does her dad come to visit her does Nate come to visit her uh does maybe you know, without him knowing, does, you know, Eric's mom go to see her in jail? I mean, there's so much to kind of explore within this character, uh, the Claire character, and I really want to see what her state of mind is at. And then again, 
if it is a flashback, do we see all her flashback and then it's showing her going off to jail? Who's going to be there waiting for it? That's going to be the big thing. So I really enjoyed this episode. Again, let me know your thoughts, your pros, your cons, what you expect to see in the weeks ahead. Again, I say it all the time. I don't watch the trailers. I go into every single episode, just fresh, clean slate. I don't know anything. So if you are like me and don't watch the trailers, what do you expect to see in the weeks ahead? So as always, like, share, comment, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you don't miss any of my other content. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Hope you're staying safe and we'll see you on the next video.